All right, so I'm going to use these two virtual machines, number two and number three, to create a vApp. I am connected to my vCenter server with vSphere client. Okay, I'm going to right click on the lab VMs folder, so I'm going to need to go into the VMs and templates. So I'm going to change VMs and templates. And the, the lab VMs, oops, I am going to right click on this and select a new V app. We're going to call this V app, my name, dash V app. The destination. going to be on my ESXi host. We are not going to change anything here for resource allocation. And we are then going to hit finish. Okay, so here's the vApp, it created it. It's essentially an empty shell right now. So I'm going to add the number two and number three virtual machines into my vApp. So here's number one, or number two, I'm gonna drag that in. And I'm gonna drag number three in. So now those two are in my Oh, we're going to ignore that. Okay. So if we take a look at the virtual machines tab, we can see that the number two virtual machine and the number three virtual machine are in the VM. Okay. So it removes them from the actual list a normal lab VMs from within the lab VM folder. All right, next I'm going to select the V app and I see that they are currently powered off the provision space and the use space. So the this V app is going to be about just over two gigs in size. All right, next I'm going to change to my inventory and I'm going to choose the host and clusters. Now I see that there is one vApp. If I expand that, you see that inside the vApp, I now have my two virtual machines that I dragged in there. Okay, and we're gonna go back to VMs and templates. And we're going to right click the V app and select edit settings. And in here, we're going to go to the order tab. So this is where we can now set when we start the V app cluster, I'll call it, which virtual machine is going to start first and which is going to start second. And then how long does it have to wait for it to be started? So now we're going to. So is this where we would we could tell it to have our sand start first before? Yes. Our yep. Okay. Yep. This is where you could set up. Yep. You you could have one start over the other. Now again, this is within the ESXi vCenter server and the ESXi hosts. This is not in VMware Workstation. So VMware Workstation doesn't have those settings that I recall. Um, on the order that things should be starting up. We actually had it on physical Yep, yep, you got it. So now let's take a look at moving these up and down in the order that we're gonna want them. So we're gonna select the O2 and we're gonna move it down. So now we have both virtual machines inside of one group. Oh, did that. And 
Actually, we're going to move that down. There we go. So number two should be in group two, and number three is in group one. Okay, select number three, and we're going to change the startup sequence from 120 to 20. So 20 seconds have lapsed. This virtual machine will start up. And we're going to change the 02 to 20 as well. I'm going to hit OK. And now we're going to right click the V app and select power on. So we're powering on the V app. Okay, so if you watch down here in my taskbar, you can see that the, the startup process at 20% and then moves to 40% and then the second virtual machine will begin to start up. So we'll watch it jump here. So all three started up first. And now the number two virtual machine is starting up. As soon as it's finished here, we're now going to move on to shutting down the V app. Okay, we're going to I think we're done there. So now we're going to right click on the V app and select shut down. And yes. And they both shut down simultaneously. We're going to go to our inventory, host, and clusters. And we're now going to take the number two VM out of the V app and drag it back into our ES6i host. So now we only have one, the, the uh, number three is left in there. Okay, I'm gonna drag this one out of there as well. So now there's no virtual machines inside of my V app and I'm going to right click on this V app and delete from disk. So that will delete that V app without deleting my virtual machines. If my virtual machines were still in the V app, they would have been deleted and removed from my disk. They would have been removed from the inventory and deleted from disk. My V app is still trying to power on. So okay. could you say with the V app for it to start at certain times of the day? 